You see, there, there is something in this world that we should always remember. You may be involved in things that affect your life passively. The fact that you are not, don't know that you are involved does not mean that you are not involved. The fact that you were not invited to be involved does not mean that you are involved. Um, when you learn how you are involved and how you cannot be uninvolved, mm -hmm. you are then going to voluntarily involve yourself with informed decisions and wise um, advice. And you are going to be participating in those things, knowing very well that if you don't participate, you are selling your freedom, you are selling your liberties, you are selling your happiness, your joy, and your peace, and your future at a discount. One example of uh, something that has been um, so much um, mishandled uh, uh, by us, and the it has been stigmatized beyond um, a normal threshold and it has been uh, weaponized to such an extent that people are telling themselves that they are not involved. But if you are telling yourself that you are involved, you are not involved, you are simply in denial. You get involved even without knowing. Passive. Um, unknowing involvement is such, one such matter is politics. The Greek origin, the word politics is of a Greek origin. Politics is a Greek origin, the word itself. It means by the people. Politics means people deciding what they want to do with their future. Politics means choosing your own leadership. You are going to have a leader that you have chosen. Chosen by the people. Organized by the people. Set up by the people. That is the origin of the word politics. Mm. So, it's people based. Politics is people based. Our politicians have stigmatized the word. They make it taboo for the people to talk about politics, yes. they tell you that you are not to discuss politics. Mm. Become a politician for you to discuss politics. But you don't need to be a politician to discuss politics. To be politically conscious, to be participating, to be involved. Politics is not for politicians. It's for the people. Mm. But there is something there. When people say, I don't like, po love politics, I am not involved in politics, it's not true. Everyone is involved. A simple example is that, let's talk about voting. If you vote, you have made a choice. You have chosen the one who is going to be your president. Mm -hmm. So you are involved. You are the one who elected the president. If you didn't vote, you participated. Mm -hmm. You allowed those who are in office to remain in office. <laughs> you have passively voted yes. for he that is in office to stay in office. Mm -hmm. So eventually no one is not participating in <laughs> politics. Everyone is involved, either actively or passively. But then... The two words I want to introduce are misinformation and disinformation. Very important words over here. Misinformation and disinformation. Misinformation is when you are telling people information that is not right, that is not correct. Um, it, it usually is something that is done uh, not always, but seldom by mistake. Mm -hmm. It's based on your um, uh, ignorance of the truth, the correct information. Because you don't know the correct information, 
what you are doing now is you are now telling people information that is wrong. So people are going to tell, take what uh, what you have said. Misinformation from the web, Mariam Webster Dictionary is incorrect or misleading information. But this information now is different from misinformation. This information is when you deliberately tell people information that is wrong so that you can change the correct information that the people already have. Mm -hmm. This information is a deliberate act of telling people information that is seeks to challenge, to manipulate, to replace the correct information that the people have. For example, I'll give you a very um, a, a two or three examples where disinformation is working. Where presidents, especially in Africa, are failing to lead people to deliver on national uh, responsibilities, infrastructure development, combating corruption, uh, responsible leadership, things like protecting and upholding the constitution, the rule of law, protecting the rights of their citizens. The politicians are failing to do that. Journalists, like in our country, Zimbabwe, like Opo Chungono and others, they then um, report on those corruption issues. The drugs scandal, the made of more blessing early, the lack of infrastructure in our hospitals, the deplorable state of our roads, our public health institutions. So the journalists are informing the people about the reality. The presidents or the president or the leaders, they hire people called Varakashi who are given 10 US dollars a day to go overdrive on this information uh, uh, duties, this information uh, project. What they do is they take pictures of roads that are being built in Singapore. They they put it on a on a, on a on a channel called uh, titled "ED is my hope," and they say the president is is building roads. Mm -hmm. You see. So they continue to provide information that the president is doing something, mm -hmm. he's combating corruption, mm -hmm. but he is not. And sometimes they try to disinform the public about the people who are correctly informing the public, mm -hmm. like telling the people lies about Wopo mm -hmm. so that they can discredit him. Yes. You see, Instead of asking Chamisa what Chamisa is saying, they take a video, they comment, they tell you, Mr. Chamisa <laughs> is saying this, or they take a picture of Tendai Beatty in America flanked by United States lawmakers. They then tell a story, Mr. Beatty was in America begging for the American government to put Zimbabwe on sanctions. You have never heard Mr. Beatty saying, Please put our country on sub, on sanctions. It's yeah. just a picture mm -hmm. of Mr. Tendai Beat with white people. Mm -hmm. The whole world is now mis and disinformed. Misinformation is always, not always deliberate. But disinformation is deliberate. Deliberate introduction, publicization of information that is meant to misinform, to disinform, to, to dispossess you of the correct information that you have. So when people look at Mr. Beatty, they will ask him, why are you begging for sanctions? Mm. Ask them, who told you that? Well, the government told us. Yes. But how sure are you? Well, we saw you with white men. Oh. So if you are seen with the lions, it means you are begging lions to come and eat people in the village. Is that how it works? No, it's not. 
That's disinformation. So disinformation is dangerous because when people are disinforming you, what they do is they use resources that other people do not have. For example, in the case of government, they use national state media, the ZBC TV, the radio stations, the newspaper, uh, 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 the newspapers, the media houses, H Metro, Blawayo uh, 24, Blawayo Metro, the Chronicle, the Herald, the H Metro, the News Day, the Daily News, the government gazettes, the provincial radios, Capitol, Diamond FM, Star FM, ZFM. They tell you information that seeks to dispossess you of the correct information that you have. That's disinformation for you. Very, very dangerous. And people now, because they are myopic and naive, they will believe that they will never ask you two questions. Can we listen also to the person you are naming the villain here? Can you put him on your TV? Can you put Mr. Tendaibiti on ZTV to answer to these matters? Mm -hmm. For how long shall you label him an evil man who went to America to invite sanctions? Mm -hmm. Can we hear him himself? Mm -hmm. Can he answer for himself? How come we have never seen him on ZTV mm -hmm. responding to these allegations? Is this not a one-sided story? Is this professional? Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. So this is disinformation, it's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Every disinformation is mm -hmm. are intelligent, yes. are wise, mm -hmm. are sober, yes. are vigilant. Mm -hmm. Do you know Oneka? Kuti wano wari kuburitza ma picture ema rozi. But at 2022, Vashida <laughs> Kwa Avaka, she paid up before election in 2023. Avaka mm -hmm. Tazakuvaka for 41 years. But mm -hmm. Avaka in 12 months. But Avaka rode round about 10 pamphlets, you go pay up before election. Spatara Jesse, Jenez Tim, as niggas are right. Who go to the ED is my hope. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. elections so this is how disinformation works.